welcome guys now let us see the fundamental dimensions there are many dimensions which are derived but the fundamental dimensions are as follows mass length time temperature electric current amount of light amount of matter these are the fundamental quantities so these fundamental quantities give rise to the derived quantities so any quantity in physics or fluid mechanics it is derived from these fundamental quantities let us see some important dimensions which are being used in fluid mechanics frequently so these fundamental units are used in fluid mechanics very frequently they are length mass and time the unit of length is meter whereas the fundamental dimension of length is l similarly the unit of mass is kilogram whereas the dimension of mass is m the unit of time is second its dimension is t so these are the three fundamental quantities from which all other quantities are derived let us see some derived quantities these are the two geometry quantities the first one is area its unit is meter square its fundamental dimension is l square because meter stands for length l similarly volume the unit is meter cube its dimension is l cube let us see some kinematic quantities velocity angular velocity acceleration these are some kinematic quantities the velocity is having a unit of meter per second so l for meter and t power minus 1 for second which is in the denominator and for angular velocity the unit is radians per second radian there is no unit so its fundamental dimension is t power minus 1 acceleration which is having unit of meter per second square for meter there is an l for second square there is t power minus 2 then acceleration due to gravity it is also having the same unit as acceleration meter per second square so the dimension is also same l into t power minus 2 discharge is having a unit of meter cube per second so meter cube is written as l cube and per second is written as t power minus 1 for kinematic viscosity the unit is meter square per second so the l square stands for meter square and t power minus 1 stands for per second force the unit of force is newton but we cannot convert this directly to its dimension but we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration so the mass m into the acceleration l into t power minus 2 will give its fundamental dimension m into l t power minus 2 then weight weight is also having the same unit as newton so the same fundamental dimension will be there for weight also m into l into t power minus 2 density the formula for density is mass by volume so kg per meter cube is the unit of density so it can be written as m into l power minus 3 here we are having some quantities which are dependent on force that's why i have kept the unit of force in the right hand side m into l into t power minus 2 so the unit of specific weight is newton per meter cube so newton is having a unit of m into l into t power minus 2 divided by l cube so the l and l cube will be get cancel give us l power minus 2 similarly dynamic viscosity the unit of dynamic viscosity is newton second per meter square so all the quantities are having newton in it so that's why i have marked in it green newton into second t divided by meter square l square pressure unit of pressure is newton per meter square the dimension of newton is ml t power minus 2 divided by meter square that is l square m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 similarly surface tension its unit is newton per meter so the unit of newton is m l t power minus 2 divided by l so the l get cancelled and m into t power minus 2 will be there the unit of energy or work is newton meter m l t power minus 2 into l m l square t power minus 2 stress it is having a unit of newton per meter square so for newton m l t power minus 2 divided by l square then power power is having a unit of newton meter per second so newton ml t power minus 2 into meter l divided by second t so that gives ml square t power minus 3 then torque the unit of torque is newton meter so newton ml t power minus 2 into l ml square into t power minus 2 then the last one is momentum momentum is actually mass into velocity it is having unit of kg into meter per second 
so kg is having a fundamental dimension of m and meter per second is having a unit of l by t so l into t power minus 1 ml t power minus 1 thank you for watching the next video will be in applying this fundamental dimension in dimensional homogeneity thank you